Welcome back. We are going to be talking about AI today, and uh, my partner Walt looks a little different for this uh, scenario. Oh, shave. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am Emily Cecilia. I'm a former K2 classroom teacher, so the little kiddos is where it's at. Stacey and I taught together eons ago. Long time and uh, in the classroom. And so we're gonna take a look at some videos that Kelly, who is just joining Congratulations, Kelly. the um, education workforce. Go Kelly. Cheers to Kelly. Cheers to Kelly. Woo. Uh, and we're gonna give some feedback and, and see what she's got. Hello, today we'll be going over Gamma, which is an AI content creating tool that anyone can find helpful, not just teachers. It creates PowerPoints, documents, and websites um, from AI. So I'm just going to give you a brief demonstration. You can generate from a one-line prompt, pasting in notes, an outline, or existing content, or inputting a file. So I am just going to do a prompt so here is where you can tell it to make a presentation, a website, or a document. And then it also gives you some example prompts um, for you just to kind of experiment with. So I'll do one of those. Here it gives you an outline of the presentation that it's creating. You can alter how many um, slides it creates and the language it uses. You can edit and delete or add more and then you can um, alter how much information is on each slide. You can change the theme if you want and then you can have it generate. So it generates everything pretty quickly. And even after it generates, you can go in and alter the information that it has given. And then up here, you can export if you want, you can export as a PDF or as a PowerPoint, or you can just present on this website. Cool. So what I really love about Gamma is the ability to take my content and turn it into a different language. Ooh, neat. Yeah, it's great for families and kids who might speak a different language. Any problems? Uh, you're gonna wanna for sure have somebody look this over before sending it home someone who might speak the language or could translate it just to be sure you're not sending anything inappropriate, for sure. Okay, as with any of these tools, you wanna to vet them for yourself to okay. make sure that they fit your needs and make sense in your own classroom. And are approved by your school district.